a push alert to you earlier today, and here you can see why. Check out this live view of Kalispell from our Sportsman's Kiosk weather camera. You can see the snow coming down hard there, dangerous whiteout conditions expected. So let's go straight to meteorologist Mitchell Coombs in the Weather Center for a live update. Mitchell. Here's what we need to know with this weather alert day for today and tomorrow. We're looking at a major storm. Blizzard conditions are possible, but Northwest Montana Valley's 8 to 14 inches will be possible. We could see some localized heavier totals. Already had a report of 8.7 inches to the southeast of Big Fork, 5 to 10 inches for West Central Montana's valleys, and generally about 3 to 6 for Southwest Montana's valleys. We're going to see that blowing and drifting snow thanks to wind gusts of 25 to 40 miles per hour. That's why we have those blizzard warnings in effect for the Flathead and Mission Valleys. Winter storm warnings for much of the rest of the area. We could even see some near blizzard conditions for the Highway 93 corridor up towards Eureka from Whitefish as well. So that's something to keep in mind. This storm is really starting to move in. Heavy snow will be continuing uh, not only for the next couple of hours, but likely into the overnight hours as well. A lot of these darker blues showing up. And don't get lulled into a sense of security up in northwest Montana. That's just the radar not picking up on the heavy snowfall in the area. And taking another live look from our Pulse and camera overlooking Flathead Lake. You can barely see off in the distance, just gray everywhere. We're going to continue to see these temperatures right around 12 to 15 degrees and some heavy snowfall. I'll time this system out coming out, uh, coming up here in just a few minutes. Laurel. All right, thank you, Mitchell. In Missoula, NBC Montana's Jacob Owens is reporting live from our mobile news unit. And Jacob, how does it look for the evening commute? <laughs> That's right, we're driving along here on Brook Street in Missoula. Rush hour is upon us. Traffic has increased a bit. People are starting to get out of work. But to put it bluntly, the roads are not very good at the moment. Let me show you what we're seeing. So as you can see, traffic is moving pretty slowly, which is good in these conditions. Um, we've spent the day below freezing, so the snow we've gotten all afternoon is just going to add layers to the slick conditions we're already seeing, but it could be worse. Flathead and Mission Valley are, are both expecting blizzard-like conditions this evening. Missoula is not, so that is one plus. Um, but if you've been driving around Missoula today, you've likely seen people sliding around, losing traction. So the crash potential is still very much there. Some things to remember as you're driving in this weather if you do find yourself out and you have to get someplace. Remember to slow down. That's the biggest thing you can do. Just reduce your speed immensely. Also, give yourself plenty of time when you're approaching a stoplight, stop sign. That's the biggest thing you can do because your brakes may in the summer be able to stop on a dime, but that's not the case when we have snow. So we'll have an update for you with the road conditions at six, um, but in the meantime, you can stay up to date on our homepage, NBCMontana.com, as well as on all our social media platforms. Reporting in Missoula, Jacob Owens, NBC, Montana. All right, thanks, Jacob. Stay safe out there. Also, if you do find yourself on the road during blizzard conditions, we talked with Montana Highway Patrol Sergeant Jay Nelson about steps you can take to stay safe. He first recommends weighing conditions and determining if it's safe for you to drive. Make sure the tires have enough tread and pack essentials like food, water, and blankets. Um, when you see these blizzard type conditions, understanding visibility might be at or near zero. Um, don't be afraid to put on your hazard lights while you're driving. If you don't feel comfortable, pull over at the nearest opportunity, nearest safe opportunity, meaning like an exit or a, a side street. Nelson says if you get stuck, call Highway Patrol and a trooper will head your way. If you're without cell service, raise your vehicle's hood, put up a signaling device like a flag, clear the tailpipe of snow, and stay with your vehicle. The Bozeman Water and Sewer Division is busy responding to several calls for frozen pipes. So far, the division received 23 calls for frozen or leaking pipes. They add the water and sewer division is fully staffed to help manage the influx of calls. We have the process pretty dialed, though, and we do staff well enough to 
and, and can call out more people in that circumstance or case where there's we need more help out in the field to deal with all of those calls. Bursich reminds people to make sure heaters are working and heat is getting to areas with plumbing. Also, don't use an open flame to thaw out your pipes. And to protect your pipes from freezing and bursting, the Red Cross says to open cabinet doors in your kitchen and bathrooms to allow warmer air to circulate around the plumbing. You can also let cold water drip from the faucet to prevent freezing. It's also important to know how to shut off your water in order to prevent serious flooding if a pipe does burst.